What's up, fellow gamers? Kevin J2010 here, welcome back to some more Pokemon on Soul Silver. In the last episode, we defeated Claire at the Blackthorn City Gym, and we got. Uh, we, she wanted to see if we could get through the the the, the thing, the, the 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 Dragon Master's Challenge or whatever, here in Dragon's Den. No, it's not a place to show off your your business as an entrepreneur or whatever. And that's a that's a Canadian joke. If you're American, it'd be called the Shark it'd be called the Shark Tank. But anyway, can I just? Dang it, I was hoping I could get that item. Oh crap, I'm already singing. Anyway, reason why I sang last episode, because last episode it was called Johto the Musical. Reason why I sang all last episode was so I can get all the singing out. No more singing in this LP. I just I just don't want to do it anymore. Because I know that it would probably get pretty annoying if I did it all the time. Which is why I'm trying to stop doing it. So, no, no. Use Magnet Bomb on the Dratini and Yan Mega. Use Shadow Ball on the other Dratini. Rockman the Yan Mega. That's why I named him Rockman, because Rockman was the Mega and Yan Mega. We go be like Mega Man. So that was the joke I was getting at. Hopefully you guys all find it funny, because I didn't find it funny. It was just over the stretch. Why is he using Twister? Why are you using Twister? It's like the weakest Dragon type move ever, and now you resist it. And it was a critical hit, and I resisted it, and it didn't. Ah, okay, now that might hurt. Ow! Ew! Shouldn't take me out. Yeah, it's not gonna take me out. It don't take me out like that, no, man. And we're gonna use Magnet Bomb on the Edgertini. I'm gonna use U-Turn on the Edgertini and go, ah, yeah, boink. Reason why I did that, this is gonna be kind of funny. I'm gonna use U-Turn on that. And I'm gonna switch in the Gabite that we, that also evolved last episode, mind you. I love his cry. Anyway, the reason why he gets in is that they all get their experience and Gabite gets boosted experience for being a part of the battle. Doesn't technically count on that one because he didn't even contribute to the killing of that one. Or like, he wasn't even in the battle when that Pokemon technically fainted. But now, as you can see, they only got 82 and he got like practically all the experience from that. So anyway... Ouchies! Mimi! There we go, we defeated you. Anyway, and we come over here and we get a Max Elixir. That was all it was for? That was all it was for? That sucks. Anyway, we gotta surf back on the deep blue again. No, it's not the F-Zero stage. Uh, there's probably an item up there too. No, no, there's not. Why is this here? What What does that achieve? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Actually, you know what? You know what? I may be an idiot and not have noticed. There we go. There's a max potion. A max potion in there, so. Yeah, there's a song about the max potion. It goes like I'm not going to sing it because I sang in the Johto musical, which was last episode. Anyway, so if you come over here to this whirlpool, we don't have a Pokemon that knows whirlpool, but... I brought... Will I am the Gyarados! <laughs> now, I really like that when you're close to it, it actually makes noise. That's actually really, like... Such a nice nuance. They added really nice little nuances into this game that adds so much to it. Anyway. You come over here, this is the back end of... Lyra! Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? You know, my dad thinks you'll become an incredible trainer someday, Kevin J. What am I saying? I'm starting to sound like the professor. Well, do your best. I'll call you again sometime. Well, okay. Whew, okay, Lyra. Seriously, I thought I'd put up with you enough. But, you know, fine, whatever. Anyway, before I head over there, I'm going to head all the way over here. Because if you come all the way over here and jump up here and you come right here, you find a Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang. It's like the Miracle Seed, like all that, except it's for Dragon-type moves. Increases all their damage by 10%. Um, which is okay. It's okay because it's a stab move, so... You would end up doing, like, a lot of... It, it gives you that little extra push. It's good for playing through the game. Anyway, you come in here. Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are, an an you are to only answer a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Ally, Junior, or Friend? You want to answer either ally or friend. I think friend's the better answer, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I understand. What helps you to win battles? You got strategy, training, or cheating? Um, I believe strategy is the answer you want. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Weak, strong, or anyone? You want to answer anyone. Oh, I understand. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Love, violence, or knowledge? It's love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, which is more important? You say both. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. Kevin J, don't lose that belief. It will it will see you it will see you through at the Pokemon League. 
She has like her own theme. So how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. What? You passed? That can't be! You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Claire! This child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or I must inform Lance of this. I, I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it! You receive the rise badge from Claire! I had to sing that part because that's fun to sing. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Waterfall. Also, all Pokemon will know you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Claire, reflect upon what it, what it is that you lack and this child has. <laughs> Aww. By the way, have you heard of Lugia? Or... Between Olivine and Cyanwood are islands called Whirl Islands. There is a huge waterfall deep in the cave there. It is said that Lugia rests in the deep end of the waterfall basin. You'll need a silver, ring to re silver wing to reach the waterfall basin, I've heard. Well then. Well then, luckily, you're thinking, oh man, it's gonna take forever to get out of here. Luckily, you can just dig your way out. Gabite's already coming in handy. Whoa, whoa, stop! Stop! Before you're done using Dig, I highly suggest that you go back to the entrance of Dragon's Den and you pick up Dragon Pulse cause from Claire because she didn't give you the TM f uh, for it. So you can get Dragon Pulse from her if you want a cool dragon move. And I was an idiot and if you leave, apparently you can't get anymore. So if you guys can help me find it, it'd be great. Also, if you go back in and you talk to the Elder again, back into the place, talk to the Elder, you can get a Dratini that knows extreme speed if you answered all the questions like I did. But for some reason, it won't let me do that anymore. Anyhow, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, that's about it. So, I just figured I would stop the video for a second here to ask this. Please leave a comment on how to fix it, and I'll fix it in a future video. Man, I forgot Dig looked like that. That's funny. Anyway, we are outside again. I gotta stop singing. I gotta... Professor Elma's calling. What does he want? Hello, Kevin J. How's it going? I've gotten a hold. I've gotten a hold of something neat. Swing by the lab to pick it up. See you later. That's weird. That's weird. Um, I believe in Crystal version. If you answered all the questions correctly, like we did, you get a Dratini. Maybe I did something wrong there, and I apologize. But I already have my Dragon type, so it doesn't really matter whether you get Dratini or not. But you can get a Dratini out of that. Um, if someone answers it in the comments. I'll put an annotation, and you'll get yourself a little bit of a shout out. So. It'd be pretty cool now. It'd be pretty cool now. Oh, I don't have fly. Oopsie. Well, because I put, uh, I put Crobat away to bring, uh, Will I Am, the slave. That's really bad because he's black. Anyway. <laughs> it's not the joke I was trying to make, but anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Refle reflex. I was going to say something. I forget what it was now. Someone said something to me on Twitter a while ago. I'll look it up again. Maybe it won't. Maybe it didn't matter this episode. I, I'm pretty sure it didn't. But, yeah. I think I'm going to need this anyway. But I do need a Pokemon that knows fly. So the new Pokemon I'm going to drop out is going to be... Oh, oh the choices. It's going to be... Yeah. I'm sorry, Rockman. I love you a lot, but I don't really need you right now. Actually... In reality, the one to drop off right now is Gabite. Gabite will will use him more, don't get me wrong. We will use him more. And he will become useful by the Elite Four. But uh, right now, not so much, so... Anyway, I don't know why I went there. I meant to go to the bag. And I meant to just see if I had any escape ropes, which I don't. So I'm just gonna buy an escape rope really quick. And then we're gonna head off to the lab to go see Professor Elm. That's what he sounds like. I don't know. Do do da do da do do buy. Gonna buy. Going to buy an escape rope. Gonna buy. I gotta stop singing. I did that on the last episode for a reason. I'll buy five just so I have enough for the rest of the game. You don't need many. Anyway, what do we got in here? We got max repels. How many ultra balls do we have? Thirty. Let's bring that up to fifty. <laughs> okay, we have fifty ultra balls now. We should be set for a legendary fight or two. Not trying to give hints away. Anyway, so before I head to the lab, I decided 
one thing I wanted to quickly do is I show I want to show everyone that you can go south from here to Route 45. Route 45, some of the guys gonna. It's all we need. Gonna go to the club. Something to hey. That's a bad song. You kids shouldn't listen to that kind of music. Anyway, so as you can see, there's actually dark cave. It's a dark, dark cave right here. So if we go inside, a whole freaking dark cave. If you remember, it was like the first cave we entered. It's where we actually caught Zubat Swinger, who ended up becoming, uh, who ended up becoming Crobat. So there's actually a whole place to explore in there. You can actually get to different sides of. Uh, uh, I thought I already fought this guy, but anyway. You can actually get to different parts of Dark Cave. There's three entrances to it, and you can get over to the original entrance by just going around here. So I won't be doing that all this episode or next episode, but I will be doing it um, eventually. There's a lot to do around Johto. It's something I really like about Generation 2. Generation 2 has a lot of exploration, in my opinion. There's so much stuff that you can look around and do and stuff, and I really like that. I really like that about Generation 2. Something that they kind of brought back in Black and White too. There's a lot of areas that you go to, but you don't get to experience. Like you don't do anything in there. You just kind of you go in. You you might go in and talk to someone for a second and then leave, or you don't even explore it. Period. Like it's not even part of the game. So it gives you a good incentive to go back later and explore. In fact, in Pokemon Black and White too, most of the game is played in the post game. Similar, or there's like a, a big post game to it, very similar to uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal, which has a very big post game as well. Uh, and he's gonna self destroy Oh god! He's not gonna do anything. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's, it was a critical hit too! Look at that! Look at that. self destructs a very powerful move. You sacrifice your Pokemon to do a lot of damage. Doesn't end up doing a lot of damage. Gonna use my chop. Gonna use. Gonna use my chop. Going to use another my chop. Ghost of singing along with the music! Anyway, I meant to sing along while I sang with that, and I guess I kinda did. Anyway, how much does it do? Not enough. Seismic Toss is gonna do about 20 some odd damage, which shouldn't be enough to kill me, and it won't be, so 27 doesn't kill me, and I'm just gonna use Magnet Bomb again. I gotta stop singing along with the music, so I'm gonna sing in monotone right now. <laughs> I wasn't even monotone, because I wasn't on the same tone the whole time while I was talking. Anyway, you wanna run south of here, and you wanna run south of here, and you wanna jump over this cage right here, and you grab this. That's totally a cage right there. And we got a max potion, and then we come and run south, and we run south some more. And I already fought you, because I trained down here, and I ran down here. And then you run over here, then you grab an item, and it's a full heal. I don't really want a full heal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <gasps> Man, I talked for a good little while without taking a breath. And you got a nugget! Ow! A nugget's worth a lot of money. A lot of money. And what's right here? It's a revive. 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 So anyway, this is, I'm recording this after Christmas, so what y'all get for Christmas? I'm sure a lot of people are going to answer with Wii U, but I don't care. Answer with Wii U if you got a Wii U for Christmas. Anyway. It's really exciting. I already have my Wii U, in case you didn't know, if you watch my vlog channel. You guys go check out my vlog channel. I already fought you too as well. And you run south of here. This is an area we could have come to at the very beginning of the game, but we didn't because there's nothing we really wanted here. Um, so yeah. I think you can catch, like, that's the earliest place you can catch a Geodude or a Fampy if you're playing Crystal version. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. I don't care, you weirdo. And it's playing the Rude 29 theme again. It sounds pretty good right now. Oh, no! Ooh! We found Entei again. By the way, when I was, when I was, uh, training, I did run into Raikou. So I wish I was recording, but I was exerting pressure. I just, I'm gonna use Thunder Wave. By the way, if you leave him with a status ailment, when he runs away and you find him again, you will find him with that status ailment again. So, it's not like he its not like he loses it or anything. He'll still have it. Anyway, so a good way to find Pokemon like that is to just uh, keep a Super Repel on at all times. Or a Repel on at all times. And just run around the grass. Because you'll run into them if the Pokemon are above the level of the Pokemon in the area, but below the level of Entei. So below level 40. So just keep it level 39. And our repels effect wore off, and we can go to the Pokemon Lab. Go to the Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Lab. Oh my god. Lyra, what are you doing here? Kevin J, did you already collect these badges? They're so cool. The professor is waiting for you. Okay, Lyra, I can walk there myself, thank you. Hi, Kevin J, you never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. You have to all the Master Ball! Yeah, Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It's so bad. 
It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Kevin J. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful Komodo girls looking for you. Kevin J, people are talking about you. I hear you help Komodo girls? You've been helping all these people. You make me proud to be your friend. Ever? <laughs> the Komodo girls are waiting for you at the Equitique Dance Theater. You ever have that friend who's just like really in your face all the time? Yeah, usually that's me. Anyway. <laughs> so. Anyway. In the next episode, we are going to... I'm going to fly there now. We're going to be an Ecrotique. And we are going to go to the Ecrotique Dance Theater to see why these kimono girls want to talk to me. You know, maybe they want to hit it up with the old J Master, you know what I'm saying? They were looking for Kevin J, and I gave him the Kevin D. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Man, I'm weird. Next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we are going to be doing that. So I'll see you guys all next time.